Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you with another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. Definitely share it out to other Ravens fans. I'm trying to get this content out there for everybody to see, okay? Um, so look, man, we're gonna get right into it. Yeah, Ravens versus Bengals game status. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. Uh, definitely hope you're having a better Friday than uh, Jordan Poole, but we're not here about to talk about the NBA. We're gonna talk about the Baltimore Ravens, okay? So um, let's get right into it. Uh, who's out for the Ravens? Already been ruled out for this Sunday night game. Rashad Bateman, Justice Hill, Ben Cleveland, Justin Houston. All right, now we know that Rashad Bateman had the foot injury. Uh, Justice Hill has the uh, hamstring. And Justin Houston has, still has that groin injury that's been nagging him. And Ben Cleveland, I'm not sure what his injury is, but he has already been ruled out as well. All right, questionable, Marcus Peters, Ronnie Stanley. Now, Marcus Peters, it seems as though that he picked up his injury during practice yesterday. Because um, usually, you know, he he's uh, you know he's a DMP on Wednesday. That's a rest day. Nothing unusual about that. But then Thursday, Friday, he usually goes full, full, right? And he's been limited to do, do not practice on these days, okay? So what Jesse Rebeck says usually is when a player is, you know, quote, unquote, healthy, then gets a limited status on a day, um, they may have suffered an injury during practice. And he, what he's listed as is with a quad injury. And we know that what Marcus Peters injured last year was his knee. So a quad is a completely different um, and new injury status for Marcus Peters. So we'll see if he plays on Sunday night, okay? Uh, Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley has been full participant all week, except for today. He did not practice today. They say he was on the field in workout clothes. And then once the Ravens, um, the other players came onto the field, uh, he was off the field. Um, you know, I'm not really quite sure what's going on with that. Um, this will be a tough game to bring him back, Trey Henderson and things of that nature, but it is a division game. He's got to hop back in at some point. Uh, when we see Ronnie Stanley is when we see him. I really don't know what to say about it, man. You know, it is what it is at this point, okay? Um, now, guys who are definitely playing Sunday, who are listed on the injury report, they have no designation, so they're full goal into Sunday, all right? Josh Bynes with that hip injury, full goal. Patrick McCarry is already back, and he's going to be – at least eligible to play this Sunday. We'll see if he actually gets any time. I would imagine that Falele has done enough to lock down the left tackle position, especially if Ronnie Stanley cannot go. So Patrick McCarry goes back to being that swing, uh, six offensive lineman that can fill in and play any position if need be. Um, but it's already, it's kind of incredible that he's already back. I mean, because if I'm, tell me if I'm mis uh, not remembering correctly, excuse me. But during that Patriots game, I believe they took him off on a cart. And I could just be mixing games up, but I, I thought, you know, it was pretty bad. But the fact that he's already back is, you know, qu quite incredible, okay? Um, J.K. Dobbins. Now, John Harbaugh said for J.K. Dobbins that on Wednesdays, they're going to start giving him the day off. He's been a full participant Thursday, Friday. J.K. Dobbins is full go. He's ramping up. He's good. He's been playing the last couple of weeks. I expect his snap count to go higher and higher and higher, especially now with the injury to Justice Hill, Okay. Um, also, Jason Pierre-Paul. Jason Pierre-Paul, they didn't give him any injury designation. It just seemed like he was on a report for uh, veteran rest days. I guess they're just allowing him to recover from this entire week because if I had to guess, when Jason Pierre-Paul signed, he didn't expect to play as many snaps as he did play um, first game right away. So he probably just needed, needed this week just to rest up and um, you know recover from the game. But... You know, no injury designation, so he's going to be full go, ready to go on Sunday night. So that's good for the Ravens, okay? And um, now I want to give a couple of guys on the Bengals who are who have injury designations that are significant to the game, okay? Now, T. Higgins has an ankle injury. He's listed as questionable. Hayden Hurst has a groin injury. He's listed as questionable. T. Higgins has been limited in practice all week. So we'll see if he ends up being able to go on Sunday. That's something to keep an eye out for because... Obviously, he hasn't been a full participant, but he has been out there in some capacity. So we'll see if that's enough for him to be out there and really get able to uh, to play this Sunday night. We'll see. And even if he's limited a little bit, you know, that could be a good thing for the Ravens if he's not at full strength, okay? Uh, we know this Bengals receiving core is top-notch and tough. So, And, you know, the Ravens secondary hasn't been um, the best so far this year outside of a couple of guys, you know what I mean? Um, also, like I said, Hayden Hurst, groin injury. He was... He was limited on Wednesday and Thursday, did not practice today, Friday, okay? So that's something to look out for. You know, you go from limited, limited to do, do not practice. You're kind of trending in the wrong direction. 
But this is my thing. Hayden Hurst, this is a, I won't say it's a full-on revenge game, but I would imagine Hayden Hurst wants to play against the Baltimore Ravens. Um, not that it was anything sour or a bad relationship or anything of that nature, but, you know, you drafted me. The guy behind me got the opportunity. He's one of the best tight ends in the league. I want to show y'all what I got to. And I want to play in this game um, in m t Bank, prime time. I want to play, right? I imagine all those kind of thoughts are going through Hayden Hurst's mind. So I would kind of be surprised if we don't see him play. Even if it's in a limited capacity, I'll be surprised if we don't see Hayden Hurst out there at some point, okay? Now, I do want to talk about the fact that uh, with Rashad Bateman being out, this is the Ravens' doomsday scenario, honestly. Now, Devin Duvernay, he's been playing well this year, obviously, but he's never intended to be a wide receiver one, and that's what he is going into today. I'm not today's game, sorry, going into Sunday's game, okay? And for the Ravens, that's not ideal, especially when they haven't played the backup guys. And this is for you, EJ, James Proche, right? Uh, Tylen Wallace, guys of that age, they haven't, been, they haven't been playing them. Now those guys have to hop in and at least play a little bit. I don't know how much. Now, obviously, they have Demarcus Robinson, and he's the clear, you know, wide receiver two, one, however you want to split it between him and DuVernay. Obviously, the Ravens have run a lot of two tight ends, two wide receiver sets. So that would pencil in Robinson and DuVernay as those two wide receivers, okay? And, um, you know, we'll see where we go from there, okay? Uh, the Ravens have... It's going to be an interesting game on Sunday. I'll just put it like that, all right? You know, the, the passing options are not the best at the moment, and they weren't the best coming into the season. The One one of the few players, not one of the few players, but what, one of the most important players this year that they, that they really couldn't have get injured was Rashad Bateman. And it's unfortunate that he did get injured. So hopefully this injury is no more than two weeks. Maybe we'll see him next week. I don't know. But he's out for this game. So... That's the status heading into this Ravens Bengals game, man. That's who's playing, who's not, as far as we know. And we'll, you know, I'll give us more information as the time comes, man. Uh, don't forget, like I said, to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.